guys, so today I'm going to show you how to pull guard in a self-defense situation when you are in a fight in, in the streets, alright? So, uh, let's pretend this was a leather jacket or something like that, and he grabs it. Because you know, this is the most threatening position that we can be in when somebody wants to assert their dominance. Or oh, this is what is told to us by the, you know, the tactical professionals. So, what I do is, I want to get my two-on-one. Okay, so I want to strip his grip away, get my wrist control, step forward. Alright, now, this is important because I want to step forward because now, if you wanted to punch me, you would hunch up to punch me. If you were smart, you would move back like this and punch me. But we're going to assume that he's an untrained criminal and he doesn't know how to fight. Okay, so from here, I just sit down and I roll back and he will get into my guard. Now what he will do, if he remembers his, his Detroit urban survival tactics and training, he will break the grip. Now, that grip break there is actually a sports fighting technique that you'll find in a lot of jiu-jitsu competitions. When the street. And as we know, sports fighting techniques do not work on the street. Okay? So once he breaks the grip, I will remove this foot from behind the knee to the crevice of his hip. Alright? This prevents him coming forward and punching me. Alright? This is the important part of Jiu Jitsu. Alright? I'm not in a compromised position now. What I'm doing is doing the efficient and lazy thing because that's what Jiu Jitsu is all about. So while he's there, okay? Now th pay attention. This is the important part of this technique to work. Okay? So from here, I'm defending him from the punches, myself from the punches, and I reach into my jacket and I pull out my gun. And now he's afraid of the gun. So he's going to back up. And now I'm in my seated gun. I might not have my black belt in jiu-jitsu yet, but I do have a black gun and fuck you up. <laughs>